Well, hello and good day, toy fans, and welcome to another edition of Super Awesome Toys. My name is Panama Star 10, and in this episode, we'll take a look at Ori Toys Acid Rain Augurst Infantry. Is it Augurst or Augurst? The Augurs Infantry comes packaged in the type of clothes box we've been getting from Ori Toys for the Acid Rain line. It has awesome art on the front depicting the Augurs Infantry soldiers, each one holding one of the three included weapons. The top of the box has the name of the figure, while the back of the box has information on the contents of the box. It is a nice looking small box, which you can keep just to display the amazing art. As all other acid rain boxes, this one also has a slip cover, which you can slip off the box to reveal the familiar weather pattern. It is the same type of box we've been getting with all the acid rain stuff. Okay, so you open the box here and you see we have a foam cover inside. Remove that foam cover and there is your Augur's Infantry. So this is the figure and these are the weapons in this plastic bag. So I'm gonna take this guy out and we'll go over the articulation. So here we have the Augur's Infantry outside of the box. And as you can see, he is basically the same figure as the Soul Commander. The differences between these two guys are the colors. The August Infantry has more muted colors, while the Soul Commander has more vibrant colors with these oranges and the green in the pants. The other differences are the helmets, as you can see, and the vests. Everything else is the same. The articulation works the same as the Soul Commander, but we'll go over the Augur's Infantry's articulation anyway. Oh, one more thing, the Augur's Best, I think it's not removable. I tried to remove it, I haven't found a tab, and I'm guessing it will be here. But it seems to be glued, so I'm not even gonna try to take it off. The helmet is removable though. Okay, so on the August Infantry, the head is on a ball joint, like the Soul Commander who has a ball joint at the head and at the neck. So you can get a lot of posing out of that joint. The head goes up and down and side to side. Same with the neck it goes up and down and side to side. The arms go up and down, forwards and backwards. Elbows bend and rotate. There's a swivel at the wrist and there's also a hinge here which allows you to bend the left hand in and out like this. And on the right hand, the hinge allows you to bend the hand down like this. There's a ball joint here at the chest, so you can move him side to side and up and down. There's also a swivel at the waist. Legs are on ball joints, so you can go forwards and backwards and in and out. There's a cut at the thigh. Knees are on a double joint so you can bend it all the way. And they're ratcheted and super tight. There's also a swivel at the ankle. The feet can move up and down and rock side to side. Again, Lots of articulation on this guy, and he looks pretty cool. 
Another thing worth mentioning about the August Infantry, in case you were wondering and haven't seen any of the other Acid Rain reviews I had up, uh, they do share the same scale with GI Joes. And also the, their neck ball joint is the same size as the GI Joes. So yes, you can use your GI Joe heads on your Acid Rain figures if you want to customize them. It takes a little bit of finagling to get them in because the Acid Rain figures necks are rubber but with a little bit of force you can pop them in. Also, so you can check out other 3 and 3 quarter scale lines. The Acid Rain stuff scales well with marble figures. Lanar Toys Decor. And they scale well with the Four Horsemen's Power Lords. You get the included accessories for the August Infantry inside this plastic bag. You get three weapons. So let's open it up and see what we got. First of all, you'll get this railgun. It's a cool massive weapon that looks so menacing on your August Infantry figures. It's also weathered like everything in Acid Rain. Next up, you get this rifle, also weathered, painted green back here, and gunmetal gray on the other end. You also get a gun, also painted gunmetal gray, and these weapons are made of a very hard plastic. They're not bendy at all, which is a nice thing. Even though the August Infantry is a repaint of the Soul Commander, the different gear and the inclusion of three weapons make them a very welcome addition to your Acid Rain army. The removable helmets allow you to mix and match gear with your Soul Commanders, which gives you the chance to customize your troops as you see fit. The August Infantry is available for sale right now at www.actionrobo.com and it's up for pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com. If you like 3 and 3 quarter scale figures, I totally recommend giving these guys a try. They are tons of fun. So that's gonna wrap up this look at Ori Toys Acid Rain Augur's Infantry. If you like this review, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Have a good one guys, and I'll talk to you next time in another edition of Super Awesome Toys.